Today we're going to look at the four zero cuffs. And this is a restraining, very high-tech restraining tool uh, in case you get into certain situations. Now, before we get into all the specs of the tool, I want to talk a little bit about liability. And, you know, you need to be careful with using something like this, especially as a civilian. Now, police units and security units use these a lot. Uh, in fact, this is one of their preferred methods. It's a way to have a lot of units together uh, without handcuffs, especially in a riot situation or something like that. Uh, it makes it really good. So, uh, But you need to make sure, because once you restrain someone, you want to make sure that you are legally able to do so. Now, I have a good friend of mine that had a, a break-in on his vehicles one really early one morning, about 3 in the morning. Uh, they called 911. He went out and got the drop on them, made them lay down on the ground and held him. Actually for over an hour he had to hold him down on the ground at gunpoint. There were only two deputies in the county and they were both on the other end of the county. True story. It's a good friend of mine. Uh, when the cops did finally get there, when they started searching these two guys, one of them had a firearm hidden away. So, you know, restraining someone and having them contained can be a very important tool uh, for you to look at. One of the great things too about this is that it only cost a dollar and seventy cent per unit on the LA Police Gear website and I thought that was phenomenal. So really it's a very inexpensive way, much better than handcuffs, easier to get off. Instead of fiddling with a key you can cut them off. Uh, so this is to me just a great option. Again, use your common sense in when to use these and when to apply them. Got my buddy Ben from Guardian Holsters and we were doing an AR build and uh, I just wanted to show him these uh, zero cuffs and uh, current law enforcement and also uh, years, in fact you retired out of the Coast Guard. 21 years, 21 so, years. So uh, tell me about these because you were saying some pretty cool things about the uses of these. Okay, well with, with the uh, flex cuffs the, the big advantage is that if you have multiple subjects that you need to, to take into custody or detain uh, you know, you can carry five or six of these versus five or six handcuffs. Um, another safety good point for these is if you had to get them out right away, uh, we use these in the Coast Guard. Um, if we had to get them out of uh, detention, you know, detention, we can cut them off and get them off the boat. Um, unlike handcuffs, if you're you're fumbling through in case of emergency, you got to get that little key and that little hole, and you know you got to do each one. With this, you can just cut, cut. And, you know, just one so their hands are free and then get them off, you know, get them off. Right. And so y'all use similar things to this right now with your law enforcement? Yes. Um, with the department I, I'm with, we have them in our patrol vehicles, uh, the patrol vehicle I drive. Okay, Ben's going to put these on me. We're going to demonstrate. Anytime you approach, when I approach a subject, you know, I have them put their hands behind their back and I, what I do is I grab their thumb right here. So basically, it's just like a joystick. Wherever this goes, if they start to fight or resist, I have control of their thumb. I can either go backwards, forward, or take them down. So basically, the other hand would be straight, straight open, like this one right here. I come, I would come put two hands through here, and I can just pull down on these right here. And basically, you got your subject. Go ahead and maintain, pop, maintain control, and then walk him to where you need to be. Uh, basically to get them off you can either have a real sharp knife or we can use a pair of snips. Um, I always put my finger so I don't cut the, the person. Very good. And there you go. Um, these are pretty sharp. Like I said a good knife will do too if you, if you don't have one of these. It actually has a 400 pound tensile strength so nobody's coming out of these cuffs. I don't care how big they are. Now, one other thing to consider is, you know, the assailant that you're messing with. And getting close to someone that has broken into your house uh, can give them an advantage, an opportunity, uh, you know, against you. And so you have to be careful with that as well. Uh, you know, using, again, common sense is really important. Now, according to 4-0 Cuffs, these are the fastest, strongest polymer disposable restraints available, period. Uh, most of your cuffs that are similar to this are made from nylon 66 which becomes brittle uh, especially in cold or real dry conditions and so this is a really high strength polymer now of course you can't see it but the formula has a copper based stabilizing additive 
and that really helps for this to work like it does. Now, one of the things about that is, is if it gets into really extreme heat, uh, it can start to turn a little green, a little discolored, a little yellowish green. Uh, according to 40 cuffs, that does not affect the functionality of the cuffs and they won't become brittle and that's one of the great things uh, especially if you're leaving these in your car which is one of the places that I will keep mine now it has two really large ovals to be able to get someone's wrist through and then right here you have your finger cuffs and these are fairly large uh, can even fit gloved hands and of course a lot of times with law enforcement that is the case uh, but you grab hold right here on the loops take your other supporting hand and put here with the whatever whoever's arms are in the bigger holes and then you just pull down of course you probably don't want to pull it down that far but you know you can pull it down and restrain that person now these do come pre-assembled but the way they assemble is really simple and you can see it just locks into this little slot right here and of course you know the other side same thing and then they just pull through so these can actually be carried in different ways if you really want to. Uh, I think having them already assembled is the best way. Now go ahead and slip it through and then back into the little slot and you're done. So, you know, it's a pretty simple process and that's really what you like. Simple, keep it simple, stupid. It's the way I like, that's my philosophy. <laughs> but this makes it really simple. It's really lightweight and very easy to carry and again at a dollar and seventy cent per piece um, you know it's something that's really great to have you know having ten or fifteen just few in the house few in your vehicle uh, just in case it does come in the black it also comes in white and then it comes in the red now the red is for training and the red has it to where these don't lock so you can pull these and use them a number of times uh, especially like law enforcement agencies or security agencies that need something like this and so that makes it really cool I mean it has those guys in mind and these are really primarily made for police and for security units uh, and military for that matter and so but for the civilian there's definitely an application and I think it's just a great option I'll have the website down below I'll also have LA police gear the link to these cuffs also down in the description below so check out 40cuffs.com and you can check out all the details and uh, really because it's so simple there's just not a lot of details it just works I want to thank Ben for helping me out uh, with this little demo and if you're ever in need of a great kydex holster check out guardian holsters I'll have the information down below thanks Ben all right thank you the four zero cuffs thumbs way up be strong be of good courage God bless America Long live the Republic. All right, so once I get them on, you just leave the you just leave the person here and just leave them there and see you later. Where are you going, man? <laughs> thanks. Hey, thanks. <laughs> hey, come back here, dude.